sleek, smooth, and built for speed, the Greyhound is one of man's best and fastest friends. They're kind of like the Ferrari of the dog world. If a Ferrari is the fastest car out there now. On the racetrack, they can reach 45 miles per hour at just 30 feet. But they're just as quick to adapt to life as companions. General Custer traveled with one, as did George Washington. And today's fans include author J.K. Rowling, Simpsons creator Matt Groening, and actress Bo Derrick, who owns several retired racers. Sweet and personable, the Greyhound is one lovable hunk of dog. They really are lap dogs. They really don't know that they're bigger than you. The Greyhound, one of the oldest breeds, is the only dog to be mentioned by name in the Bible. There are carvings of them in old Egyptian tombs dating back to 2900 BC. Greyhounds were used by the Romans for coursing, the sport of chasing hare. They made their way to America in the 1500s by way of Spain and became popular during colonial times among Midwestern farmers for chasing crop-destroying jackrabbits. They're known to chase anything that moves quickly because that's what they were bred for. What makes the Greyhound so good at chasing prey? Their eyesight, for one, which has to do with the skull. The Greyhound has a dolichocephalic skull, which means long-headed. The long, narrow head with the wide, tapering muzzle is wide between the ears. The eye placement provides a 270-degree field of vision, more than twice that of a human. A Greyhound can see behind its own head. And while they are tall dogs, they are delicately framed, weighing on average 60 to 70 pounds. And greyhounds are unable to sit like other dogs. They generally go into a sitting position without their rear end touching the ground. Their renowned speed is aided by a flexible spine, which enables them to run in double suspension gallop. All four feet are off the ground at two points when they're galloping both when their legs are stretched and extended forward and when they're tucked underneath their body. Today, many greyhounds are used for racing, which is controversial. It is outlawed in some states. It's been a welfare issue, is the way they were kept at the track and the diseases they get. Because of this, a big rescue community has developed to assist retired racing dogs in finding homes as pets. After all, there's much more to the greyhound than life at the track. They are sweet, even-tempered dogs who are easy to train, but because of their speed, it's important to emphasize recall. Because you don't want a dog who can move that quickly, getting off leash and not coming back when called. Despite their size, greyhounds do well in apartments. They're actually considered couch potatoes. And grooming is a breeze. The only requirement to maintain their coat is a good bath. The greyhound is a pretty healthy dog and can live up to 12 years, but they are prone to a few health issues including bloat and hyperthyroidism. They're also prone to bone tumors uh, of the long bones. And a greyhound makes a good family pet. They are good with children and good companions. So in general, the sweet, even-tempered greyhound will do well in small living quarters. They can have issues with bloat, tumors, and hyperthyroidism. They're easy to groom, easy to train, and these lovable dogs will do well with a family.